Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So today I'm going to be doing something a little different than a lot of my videos. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite apps for editing and I'm not talking about editing as in like the TikTok like fan page edits. I mean those are great too, those are great like After Effects video star, those are great. But I'm talking about like video editing, for example the app I used for this video and apps you can use on a desktop, some like software you can download to make your videos better in quality and make them look like they were professionally edited. So here are my top favorite apps. Let's begin. Okay, so first I'm going to talk about three softwares that are like paid for and um well obviously softwares and then i'm going to talk about two apps that are on your phone so the first one is final cut pro x and i have never used final cut pro x nor have i like had any friend that's you've used it but i've heard like really great things about it and apparently it has like really high producing quality and you can create high quality videos you can get high performance digital editing from it and i'll talk about the features like in just a second but um it also had support for literally any video format and it's really easy to use and it has time saving features so like the interface of the whole app is very user friendly and it has powerful tools such as magnetic uh time clips and clip connections and it has vr editing like a 360 degree vr editing tool and um it has a color grading tools and unparalleled audio editing features sorry i'm just trying to think of things off the top of my head and apparently oh yeah these features they do sound very complicated but they are actually very easy to use and they're user friendly and once you get like the hang of it you can use it i've seen a lot of um editors like youtube editors use it and they edit their videos using this app so you know i think it's very easy and the overall like production quality and the outcome of their video is something I personally really like and I think it's amazing and I would so use it but it is way too expensive. So yeah, I don't really edit with that app nor do I post often so it's not really, you know, something for me. But if you are passionate about like editing, then I think this is the really like this like the best software for you if you have, you know, if you want to invest in something, then I think this is definitely the app for you. Okay, next up we have Adobe Premiere and I'm sure you guys have heard of it because they have created some like products such as Photoshop and After Effects, which are also great softwares. I was going to include After Effects, but I feel like people mostly use that for creating like edits of like people like the video edits and not like editing a video. I don't know how to distinguish this. I keep saying editing videos and not video editing. It's literally the same thing, but like not like TikTok, like Instagram edit edit. But like, you know how I'm like editing this video? Like, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. I have no clue how to like relay this information. But um, yeah, Adobe Premiere has some fantastic features such as like things you can create visual effects with and graphics. It has like even like more advanced editing tools such as multi, multi camera editing, color correction, audio mixing. You can polish your videos to the highest quality, whichever quality you desire. And it also supports a wide range of video formats. So you can work with a lot of like like literally any footage you have and this is one of the top choices people use to edit their videos because of how like popular and how many uh, uh, tools it has but i'm not sure about how like easy to use i feel like you kind of have to like get the gist of it in order to use it but um once you do you can create some really professional looking videos and again this is paid and i'll put like the price up on the screen because i don't have that memorized sorry about that but yeah if you are looking for like a long-term like solution like if you're somebody who edits a lot then adobe premiere might also be a good option for you Okay, so the next one I have is Apple iMovie, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of this. I literally used to use iMovie on, like, my mom's, like, phone when I was, like, six or seven to create, like, I don't know, vlogs with my friends. And it also apparently has a desktop version. I'm sure it's had this for a while, but I literally just discovered this. 
so um apparently it's a great editing app i was looking at like i was you know doing my research and i came across imovie and i'm like oh i thought we stopped using that in like 2015 but i guess that was just me so it has a lot of features and i've i've used it's like phone features but not it's like like desktop features but it has a very simple like interface you can drag drop your clips arrange them do whatever you want very easily and it has a lot of like fun effects and filters i wouldn't say it's too professional but you can have a lot of fun with it and create something nice like your videos can look good they they'll look amazing maybe not professional but they'll look good they'll look good trust and you can add a lot of sound sound effects you know how like imovie has like in-app sound effects yeah i remember i used to use those you can create like i remember i used to create like trailers like me and my friends would do like oh let's create a horror movie and we used to create trailers with like within like five minutes and i think it is a really fun app i wouldn't say it's too like oh like m let's create a whole movie professional type but something you can have a lot of fun with and explore so yeah that is my third app for you guys now we're going to get on to the non-software apps something you can do on your phone and that is like so much more affordable than the three i just talked about okay next up we have vllo i literally live by this app i'm using this app right now to edit this entire video it's like it's on my phone and i love this app so much everything i've done in this video it's all in vllo and i do think so when i started using this app it was a one-time four dollar purchase so that's like insanely like cheap compared to like 129 dollars for a software and now i think you have to pay like for like every feature i literally have not like i'm so glad i bought it when i did because now i don't have to pay for every feature separately i had that one one time four dollar purchase and now i never have to buy it again but obviously they got more like popular so they had to get their revenue somehow but the amount of features it has the filters the effects it has copyright music copyright free music copyright free videos copyright free anything within the app so you don't have to go searching and um i love it i literally live by it it has so many nice features it is so easy to use i i struggle a little bit with like the fact that it's on my phone so everything's so tiny but other than that like i'm not going to complain too much because it gives me what i need for four dollars like come on now it is a great app i don't have like what else i have nothing bad to say about it it auto saves your work it has a lot of features a lot of text options you can import fonts you can like export your video in whichever format you'd like and i personally think it's one of the best starter apps so yeah that is it for vllo i can go on and on about how good this app is but now we're going to move on to air our last app which is also a in phone app Okay, last but not least, we're also going to end off on something, you know, that you can use on your phone. But unfortunately, this is limited to Apple users only. I'm pretty sure it's still like that, right? I haven't really checked, but I'm pretty sure it's only limited to Apple users. But I love this app so much. I, yeah, I can also go on and on about this. It has, so the features, they are like individual like packs. You do have to pay for them separately. It's kind of sad i think they also have a monthly subscription but the individual packs are a one-time pay and then there's like monthly subscriptions so you can decide whichever you want to do i did the individual packs because i bought it it was like one or two dollars for each pack so i think i bought like three or four and that's just what i use the prices went up now yeah I've, i was checking it they're like four or five dollars for a pack now uh, yeah back then it was like one dollar back then was like two three years ago but whatever and this app has a lot of features from anything from like you can change like anything about the video you can make the saturation hue different you can change the color you can change you can mask people the masking it's not that great because it's on a phone but you can still do it you can add audios you can edit audios the pitch you can modify literally anything and i use this for a lot of my intros to create like little waves or do like little masks with green screens and I think if you're just getting into like making YouTube videos or something and you need a starter, VLLO and this are my like go-tos and I would definitely recommend this. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a really fun time making this video. I forgot how fun it is to edit and I will try my best to try to post once 
once i will post a few times in a year i can't promise how many times but it was really fun you know doing this again i had like a sudden urge to just create a video and i and i did and it was really fun so thank you guys so much for watching please make sure to like subscribe and comment if you did like this video and if you have any other things you need to know about thank you so much for watching bye